Welcome back to SMKR. Up next is the Revell VW 3-in-1 kit. Now this is 125th scale and this is a classic kit from 1969. It's an original release and as you can see on the box cover it says included record offer inside. Let's look at the box art a little bit here. Typical boxings from back in 1969 showing you all the options and details that are inside the kit itself. I'm excited about this because I do own a Volkswagen myself, a 72 VW. It sits mostly in my garage. I drive it once a year for emissions check down here in southern Arizona. Yuck. I hate emissions. Especially when the car never had emissions on it in the first place. And you can see here, it does uh, give you the record offer for the 24 hour in La Paz. 27 hour in La Paz, that is. I actually have this record on my channel. I have the recording on my channel. If you look back in my video files, you, you can actually listen to the, the record itself that was offered with this kit. Open it up. Now these, this kit is very hot, highly sought after and a collector's item to find one still sealed in pla the original plastic or sealed on the outside. It's going to cost you well over $100. This one didn't cost me that because it wasn't sealed, but all the parts are still here. So here's the kit instructions, typical Revell. We have a sticker inside saying uh, new Revell model of the month. That's what they used to do. They used to have model of the months for these. Very nice decals still are in great shape for the Revell MP and all the flowers and numbers and stuff. And here's the record offer, the original leaflet which offered the free record when you sent this in. I believe all you had to do was pay for the postage. Pause the video if you like, if you want to read this a little closer. But there you have it. And a little advertising from back in the back in the time. Build the new Apollo moonship, which I have that kit also. Should do a review on that for you in the near future. And then briefly, you can look at the kit parts. Back in the day, they did give you a listing of all the parts that are included in the kit. Step by step here, real quick. I do like it because it does give you an accurate suspension up front the ball joint front end up front, the rear swing axle in the back, your dash controls, steering wheel, parking brake, shift lever, even gives us the engine which I think is cool. Pancake floor, four, four cylinder air cooled Volkswagen motor, Typically back then it was probably a uh, 1500 or a 1300 cc engine. More details, this actually gives you the optional dual Webers or dual Solex. Here's your cooling fan shroud, heater assembly, generator mounts. And once again your heaters, heater, heat exchangers on the bottom. Your exhaust pipe gives you the header instead of the exhaust twin tailpipes that you see with the factory ones. Gives us the transaxle. Which is the IRS independent rear suspension transaxle. Interior buckets, roll bar, rear seat, tires and wheels skid plate for the pan and pieces and parts and decal placement for 
the bug itself. Alright, I bagged up all the clear pieces. It does come in bright orange. Bodies in one piece except for the rear deck lid. Looks like it represents a 65, 64 model. Chrome tree gives us the bumpers, the wheels, steering wheel, hubcaps, the stock hubcaps, some of the chrome trim, rear tail lights that are chromed, headlights, headlight buckets, door handles, front turn signals. late model bumpers could be a 69 I'm thinking this that's what this is it's a 69 bug because it did come out in 69 69 would have had those style bumpers interior wise trunk seats nice texturing on the seats transaxle Roll bar, skid plate, your Weber carburetors, the bottom of the pan, belly pan for the suspension, wheels and tires, the wheels themselves I mean. Right, the famous belly pan for the bug, rear deck lid. Rear firewall for the engine compartment. Once again, part of the firewall. Your dash. Engine halves, engine parts, fan shroud. Right here. Even the valve covers. That's cool. Nice. Now I see why this kit is well sought sought after. It's very detailed, and of course the tires, which I, I don't think they're the strongest point of this kit because they're they're in halves. Never liked building the half tires like that. So there you have it. This was the VW three-in-one kit from Revell 125th scale, originally released in 1969. I'll put a link down below to the record recording that was offered with this kit. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for more reviews.